It seems to me even worse than a double standard when it comes to Hillary Clinton, because with Trump, what we're talking about is physical documents that are at this point, what, two years old at least, maybe maybe more than that, maybe six years old. When we're talking about Hillary Clinton, we're talking about digital documents. We're talking about information yep. that is easily hackable. The only way to hack the documents in Mar-a-Lago is if a spy comes in with an ax and knocks down the door and takes the documents. When we're talking about Hillary's unsecured server, we're talking about foreign governments that certainly easily could have had access to those documents and almost certainly did. And we're talking about documents that were contemporary. We're talking about documents that were classified information that was relevant at the very moment that it was accessible to other people, that it was on this home server. It, they're really incomparable in the sense that what Hillary did was much, much worse. And by the way, Hillary was not president. She was merely a secretary of state, would presumably have even less of a right to have those kinds of documents. And, and so when we're talking about uh, whether or not the raid is justified, I think all of this is really relevant because you might point to some provision of the law and say, well, Trump didn't have the right to have those papers in his in his home. First of all, all these other presidents did it too. And you've never seen any kind of raid certainly not against Hillary Clinton. So how do you conclude anything other than this was a partisan attack on a political opponent of Joe Biden? It's unquestionably that. And, and, and I'll point out there, there, there are two ostensible hooks uh, for the raid. One is the Pre Presidential Records Act, which, as I said, has never been enforced in this way against any other president. So apparently the law applies uniquely to Donald Trump because they hate him. Or two, you somehow, sometimes see people intoning about classified documents. And, you know, I'm reminded uh, in 1997, there was a federal commission headed by Democratic Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan, uh, who described, quote, he said, secrets in the federal government are whatever anyone with a stamp decides to stamp secret. And there's a lot of truth to that. I've been to a ton of classified briefings. And there are things that are, are classified that there is no reason whatsoever for them to be classified other than someone put a stamp on them. And sometimes because the White House doesn't want it public. So, yeah. so one of the, the favorite moves, particularly of the Biden White House, is politically embarrassing information. That is classified stuff. Like anything, <laughs> like any explanation of why Afghanistan was an absolute cluster, was a train mm -hmm. wreck, was an absolute disaster, all of that's classified because, mm -hmm. well, gosh, that would embarrass Democrats. Um, but there is a legal complication and actually a big difference between Trump and Hillary Clinton, which is under the law, it, it is incredibly difficult, bordering on impossible, to charge a president with disclosing classified information. Why? Because under the law, the president is the arbiter of what's classified and what's not. A president can declassify any damn document he wants. By the way, a secretary of state can't. So Hillary Clinton didn't have the ability to declassify documents, but Donald Trump did. And so the idea that he was in charge, he can literally, he can read a classified document and go out on TV and read it on TV. And that's under the law, the president has the authority to make a determination even though it's classified, I'm declassifying it. So the idea that we're going to send in the G-man to prosecute, to, to raid him and to set up a prosecution on that, legally, that, that there's no there there. 